we in Mannheim, um, like in many other cities, face uh, a growing diversity, not only migration related, it's the diversity of lifestyles in different cultural milieus. And so our key question was, um, with all the conflicts we are challenging, um, what is the, the key point of living together? What, what is the need to, sh to shape an understanding in our city um, that we foster social cohesion and that we live together in the, in the same city and, and work together in the same city? And we came up with uh, a participatory process and we invited um, leaders of enterprises, parties, religious groups, sports clubs, so the whole diversity of our city and to start a discussion what are the, the, the common norms, what are the values. You were looking for what you had in, in common across the city. Right, and what are the shared values uh, we, we all have in our difference? Because we're always watching at the differences. And, uh, but what do we have in common about this? And that was a very fruitful discussion because listening to each other and exploring that the, the values are very the same, independent from which group you are on, um, we came up and we formulated these values in a declaration about living together in diversity. We started in 2016 and meanwhile we have more than 300 institutional partners com voluntarily committing to um, share the attitude of this declaration but also, and this is the important thing, to get into action, to get into joint action with the other signatories, the other partners in the alliance to bring this declaration into life. And give us an example, what kind of activities do you do in order to, to give the declaration life? We are convinced that it's very basic, it's about encountering, getting in touch with people maybe you normally have a picture of, but maybe you don't meet. And, and we had some very nice cooperation, for example, the, the shelter for women, together with some uh, women's groups from mosques. So they were not in touch at all, even though we know that um, famil familiar violence is an issue and everything. So they had a cooperation and it was so helpful for both sides to learn from each other. So what, what does a women's shelter institution is offering? How do they work? Who can go there? And on the other side, it was for the organization so interesting to learn more about Muslim family life, about the different roles and understanding and so both sides were so um, enriched through this cooperation um, that um, after the project there was a follow-up, they are still in contact. Um, when both sides are open and willing to to learn and understand who is on the other side, that uh, this is something, you get this common ground. This is the crucial change of the narrative. It's not a campaign, it's, we know it's a very long-term process, but they give us courage that this is a, a possible way, that things might be changed through that. The municipality as the sender of this message, we have to live together in peace, um, what I learned in, through many examples uh, during the last days is um, that it's not about the message you want to send, it's about how the message re uh, comes up at the receiver and how he or she understands it. it it's the receiver and not the sender.